And hello, my dear friends. Welcome to part six of Maiden of Black Water. Okay, um. could you just that I'm actually streaming, please? Seems to be coming from. <sighs> and of course, since naturally I can never properly get myself sorted before stream. Here we go. Let's get into this. Um, I actually forgot what we're doing. <sighs> I've been spending so much time on Ark just like trying to get stuff. And it's just like, ugh. I'm doing a bong. Glad to be replaying Ark, but at the same time. It really is just a time sink. Like, it's a big time sink. Fun time sink. However, I do have to mention Genesis 2. Really is just a pay to win scenario. I don't know. How do you pay to win in a single player game? <sighs> I've had that same comment mentioned by. Someone, when in regards to the Fallout Force um, Sediment Ambush Kit or Sediment Defense Kit, I don't know. The one where you have like a ton of raiders, mutants, monsters, and all that really just, you know, attack a sediment. You buy it and okay. Why was I just stuck in place? Half your health in one hit. Oh boy, sucks to be you. <sighs> oh no. Um, so yeah, with the sediment ambush kit, basically, if you get it, 
Again, you can pretty much summon anything you want. You want death claws, ghouls, super mutants, raiders, gunners. Okay, I have no idea as to why it seems to be lagging. Oh yeah, you can summon them in. I made it at last. Like the hardest difficulty. She's waiting for me inside this house. Waiting is a good explosive shotgun. I must hurry. And you get legendary gear like bang, 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 bang. So many legendary enemies and XP. Oh, so Genesis. It's pay to win scenario. Yeah, it's quite literally. Oh. So we literally you got the resources to make a um, industrial cooker. And then... Pretty much within like the first couple drops that we got on Genesis. You know, the asteroid loot crates, um, the one... The, not the ones that you get with hexagon points. But just the standard world crates. We got an industrial cooker. And since then we've got several industrial cookers, a couple chem benches, two grinders, which we quite literally had to fill up the entire fabricator full of materials just to make the grinders. Make one grinder for Genesis and it's just like, oh fucking K. Okay. On the way to the summit of the photo on a small path lane despite a little as Path seemed to be heading to the forest, but it has become all of gone and it is unpassable. Could it lead to the mansion the only the only the invited can find? It is different for the post war photograph. <sighs> only describe it as being beautiful. And a, a beauty a sadness unlike the others I've ever seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought of how beautiful she, beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard the whispers of love from the photograph. The day with the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart was captivated. Simp. Well, there's a cassette on the tape when I put the label is when I've back. <sighs> Chasing after a ghost girl. Yeah, I suppose it's better than... You know, trying to chase after your bloody wife who gets... Keeps running away from you. It's like, you're there, trying to help. But she's just like, damn. Mm, sorry, love. Go on. You know, I feel like they really are just not trying with these boxes. Like, uh, come on, you wouldn't want to live there. Sure, it's got a nice little indoor bath, but. Just does not have any of the amenities. How you're supposed to cook up your chicken nuggies? Do you remember all your tablets and a Buddha statue on the altar? Good to know. <sighs> ah. Oh. 
Okay, you know, you actually kind of panicked me for a bit, but it was a shit. Top the end, boss. <laughs> but no. Come on, buddy. What's the matter? Okay, nope, he just wanted to play him this one. I mean, I'll admit the aspect of being invisible helps, but at the same time, really having to spend a lot of this time attacking, have you, buddy? Come on. Attack from you. That was a pretty decent attack from you. I will give you that. Come on. Stop attacking my assistant, please. Alright, she has enough. Oh, I was just like, wait, what? I was trying to use like the eight shadow frame, but.
You know what? That was a horrible fight. Hmm. Leute, das ist aber da von der Foto. So. Oh. Okay, ja, so. Alright. Let's actually take care of this fight a bit properly this time. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention it. Uh, it tried its best. Uh. This is like that. Ah, yeah, it's a bit spooky. Spooky man charging at you. Spooky. It was a spooky man. A spooky man with a spooky torch. Well, it's just a normal torch, but you know. Maybe put some different powder in it. Maybe make a torch blue. Uh, maybe nice white torch. Mm, just something to differentiate it. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I would kind of laugh if it was torture, like a second half ball. This side is going a lot better than the last one. Yeah, could you maybe not try and attack my assistant, please? Like, she's trying her best, okay? Doesn't really work around the camera that can kind of spot you. Right, yeah. We are coming out of this with a lot more film than we did last time. I completely forgot about that charge attack at the end. I was just like, haha, I did it. Really? Well, it's just like, fucking charge. Uh, portrait of the deceased, learned on the lintel, the dampness of the blackened photos, making it hard to make out faces. I would laugh if I got the wrong side again. I'm 
of sound a ghost, didn't I? Excuse me, ghost, could you come back again? I guess that answers as to which way we're gonna go. Yep, I always kind of think it'd be nice to just live alone on a mountain surrounded by like, a bunch of trees and stuff, but. <sighs> I'd be way too paranoid about like what kind of spiders and shit would come in and try and. Bite me in the night. Teacups on a tray of tobacco on a dusty table. Television is switched on. The screen is blurred with static. I can't make anything out. But if you stare too long at the static, eh, you'll eventually come up with something. Okay, if I'm being honest, the whole, oh, it's a box, so there's going to be a ghost coming out of it. Yeah, it gets a bit old every after a while. If I were to say an issue, it would probably be that some of the attacks, like winches that are just floating towards you, with no fatal frame option, can feel a bit weak. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but like if there's no option to repel her, it's just a hit.
Like, again, maybe I'm doing something wrong with the attack, but... <laughs> well, it's quite literally, yeah, just float towards you and you should actually just try to actively run away from it. Okay, you know, that was purely my fault. I'm going horrible with these fights. Like, with two, which, quite honestly, I'm more adept with. Yeah, I can easily do the fights, no problem. Mm, that was up in the... God damn it. It really is just like a slight annoyance to me. Back to like the old days of Ark. Back on the swing. <sighs> I accidentally just pulled out the thing. Um, back in the old days of Ark, I used to like constantly drop my sister because I would just slightly squeeze down on the left trigger, and it's just like. I damn it. Did I forget a note down there? Yeah, I was about to say, it's going to disappear.
was that? Was that the folklorist? I guess so. Just what is going on in this mouth? I'm not sure. Is Mr. Sakaki here on the mountain too? <sighs> Just like the folklorist. Enough. Would the cable guy even still work? Like, uh, would it even still be maintained after all this time? Like, I mean, it could possibly, but it. Ah. And then we set out to find the folklore's house. Relying on clues uh, from a video recording. As they pass through the shrouded dolls, a white haired girl from when streams appears. She asks why he didn't bring her token, then vanished. And then. You, know, this, you already know what happened, you saw the video. Rank A. Not too bad, honestly. Now, considering how bad I honestly feel is going there. I think that one fits the white a bit more. Not that one. No, I have no idea what you mean about a nude mod bar. Like, there's. Is there a nude mod for this? If so, I'm on Xbox, dude. Ah. Uh, I feel like the white lily looks better. Um.
It really is a shame. Like, <clears throat> it mentions additional costumes, but again, you scrap like most of the costumes, and whether or not it's due to censorship, the swimsuits don't even look that decent. I mean, the outfits look decent enough, but at the same time. Eh, I don't know. It's a shame we can't play this on the hard mode, but. Yui found Haruka trapped underground in a reliquy and brought her back only to see her taken away by ghost. Yui had. Yui heads back to Mahakami to look for new clues to find another missing person, Miyu Hirasaki. Um. Honestly, I feel like if you can't get it done with the amount of stuff that they give you. I granted, you could buy a lot, but still. Yeah, okay, wait. Yeah, okay, so I'm assuming it just really also deals with the amount of stuff that you get. Immortal Flower Yui Kuzukara. After being brought back from the mountain, Haruka disappeared again. This time, she seemed to be led away by the ghost of her friend, Fuyuhi. Yui recalls one more open case in Hisoka's file, a missing girl named Miyu Hinasaki. She went to the Mount Takami in search of her mother. Yui tells, takes Miyu's token with her and sets out for the mountain. Hoping that the key to all the disappearances will be waiting there. Yes, the disappearance, um, I'm pretty sure she's either dead. Oh, you know, not really in the right frame of mind. Uh, maybe that's just me. Like, <coughs> Miyu Hirasaki. It seems she went here. It seems she went to Manakami looking for her mother. Can you use a photo to find her trace, which should show me exactly where she went? We haven't played much of the other girl. I can get that they want to find the people, but at the same time... It really should get to the point where you should just be like... <coughs> Fuck this mountain. You guys suck as tour guides. Like, honestly, you I don't think you're supposed to try and kill the people coming to visit the mountain. Maybe you guys just got really tired of one postal.
Wait, honestly, if I was walking on a haunted mountain, haunted mountain, this is a haunted mountain. This is the mountain, but man, if I was walking on a haunted mountain, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd be the same boat, mate. Fuck everyone that comes. I mean, at least you have company. Like, could be worse. Imagine, actually, right now, would be nice. I was gonna say, imagine living or imagine working like as one person in a thing, but yeah, no, that would be kind of nice, actually. Sign of the ticket machine reads closed, the power has been turned off. Posters have been put up explaining that the service has stopped. Power has been turned off. Okay. I'm not going to question it, but. Yeah, I don't think the trains are running anymore, love. You might be waiting for quite a while. Yeah, so either the power has been cut off or... Uh, no stairway, but I mean the wide leading to the platform, probably with the crew maintenance workers. <coughs> I mean, I, w I will admit it would be kind of fun to like... Explore abandoned areas. But at the same time... Uh, like, it's not even a case of will there be sunk supernatural there? Shit lights down the road and fallen trees probably used to be parking lot. Again, the power is clearly still on. Who has been maintaining it? <coughs> like maybe you could make a case for it being hydro powered or sunk of the mountain. Very dirty. It's not very dirty. In fact, it seems you know wouldn't. My mother left. I was three years old. I barely remember her. She hugged me, then disappeared into sunset. There was nothing I could do. I cried staring at the sunset, and then my eyes went blind from staring at the sun. Damn it. Why did I just watch her go? Why did I let her go? I can't just wait for her. I have to go. The things I want to tell her when I see her. Yeah, if she disappeared when you were three years old, and assuming that you're somewhat in your teens now, I think it's a bit too late, love. Like, 
Why is it going dimly on the driver's console? Looks like the power is on. I can use the control power to get the... You think the power is on? This is just where one and that came away from. Pretty sure. No, maybe not. Who knows? <gasps> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This. Not. It's really not that much of an effective jump scare or anything. Like, if anything, to me, it's becoming more of a nuisance. <clears throat> As opposed to, like, anything major. Like, I'm not really going, oh no, ghosts took away, like, a tiny bit of my health, whatever shall I do? Again, it really is just more of a nuisance thing. As opposed to an actual threat. Yes, the shrine, shrine of the ephemeral. That doesn't sound weird. Okay, maybe we can just put it up to ghosts, lighting everything up. Everything is just ghost powered the lights ghosts torches ghosts fucking the nuclear power plant yep ghosts screw yeah. screw nuclear power or anything like that we, we just think ghosts a bunch of ticked off fucking Electric workers, and then be like, ah, free electricity, fucking ghost power, everything. Which reminds me of like this one old show that I completely forget the name of. <coughs> but it was about 
this couple. And they're out hunting for ghosts. And they were capturing them in an attempt to, like, somehow use their life force or anything to stay young. <laughs> now, see, again, this really is. The only evidence that this would ever be a Project Zero game, which, you know, Type Zero film. That's it. Now, as it stands, I need to go to the toilet, so I'm going to be right back.
And we are back. Um. I do again. For some reason, I can never get shit actually sorted for stream. Uh, four, four, ten, you will do. Um, in anime news, I guess. Uh, yeah, I could have watched a brand new anime. Could have done something completely different. <sighs> I decided to binge months to go with Doctor. Good anime. much for that anime it's essentially like everyday life of monster goals as you have a lamia and an acne mermaid centaur zombie girl cyclops harpy uh, it's not directly one on one that he gets every one. <coughs> but there is a slime girl, which, you know, of course. Um, it's a very good anime in the sense of. The world actually feels kind of built up. Like, in the city that it. In, which is Lindworm. You have various different races, actually. You know, humans and monsters. They're not demi-humans, they are monsters. It's like you have waterways for mermaids, you've got centaurs doing delivery jobs and pulling wagons. You've got arena fights, you've got a harpy village that you actually feel like the world feels lived in enough. As opposed to. <sighs> I haven't watched it, so feel free to at me if I'm getting some wrong. From what I've seen of High Guardian Spice, in I think like the first episode, there was a giant, you know, just casual giant that does nothing. Like it's just leaning out. Oh, that they're just leaning up against a wall, a building, and they don't really do anything with that. Like, there's no, there is what I've seen, there seems to be nothing to support the giant. Like, and a neat little detail would have been as. Rose and Sage, I think. The ones passing time, oh, fuck them. I haven't really paid attention to the actual names. As they're running by, Giant could look down. And maybe chuckle a bit because they ran over its feet. I don't know. Something? <laughs> <coughs> In months to go with Doctor. Yeah, there's a giant as well. Oh, a gigas, but you know, when she comes down from the mountain, it's just like the false god is angry, the giant, or you know, all this. Com okay. <laughs> all this complete panic where 
they literally evacuate the Harpy village. Do all this effort to like get away. And to Salia, the central. <sighs> Goes up to fight it on her own. At least by time for everyone to escape. So of course, Gwen and Stephen Pike go to back up. And you know, feels more lived in. Like, she came down because she heard there was a doctor. And the reason she came down was because she had a cold. <laughs> it's adorable. I mean, it is an etchy sort of anime as well, but it doesn't go Monster Masumi levels of lewd. With like, just everyone being completely stripped sometimes. Oh, it's more boob shots, but still. There are some etchy moments, but really not. To the level of Munch's Misumi. I agree. The very first scene is quite literally him giving a. I know it's not a breast massage, but. Essentially a breast massage to a min Minotaur girl. <laughs> and the reason he's doing that? To check. See if anything's wrong. Check to see if she's. And then. Turns out that she's pregnant. So, as opposed to. Okay. Slow. Oh uh, yeah, so I could use the embers, don't I? But yeah, it turns out that the Minotaur girl is pregnant and her husband comes in like, yay! Okay. Am I doing something wrong here, or am I supposed to just be freaking... This was almost immediate. After using the embers. But there wasn't even any build up there. Another good thing, as opposed to everyday life of monster girls, he's really not that phased by like you know typical anime harem protagonist. Oh, you're doing this. I've got a like he actually acts like a doctor. And it's just like. Yeah, okay, I need to... I need to touch tits to check this, and it's just like... Yeah, dumb, just an average day, it's not like, uh... Yeah, how most anime protagonists go like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, so bored. Oh my god, bitch! Did I not just kick your ass? <coughs> Christ, I've never seen someone so eager to get exercise before.
Yep, I always so. I was gonna kind of bring this up, but I find it when you get like that's like audible, like audible. I have the app installed, right? Early, it's installed. I've clearly spent quite a bit on audible credits and books. <coughs> okay. That is just an instant fuck. Yeah, okay, so I've gotta fucking dodge that. So when she does that, I can dodge the shit out of that. Dead again? Can I move on, please? So I've got to keep an eye out for the lefty hand instant just fuck you cast. <sighs> Sucks I to use up the embers, but eh, I'm model through. Uh, eh, back to audible. Like, yeah, I've clearly been using audible. And yet, it still feels the need to send me ads. Yeah, see, you don't need firepower. You need ghost power. They use lanterns, fueled by ghosts. You think that fueled, fueled by candles? No, ghosts. Doesn't matter, ghosts. <gasps> Is this meant to be terrifying? Is it meant to be scary? This is gonna make me stop and go, ah! Oh no! Hand! This is gonna just leave me there, like, eh, it'll be over soon. Ah yes, you see this, and your first impression is, I want to go inside that. Yo, but uh, can I get the item behind? Oh, I gotta get it myself. Yeah, thanks a lot, 
buddy. You're a great help. held shut by powerful force um look it's made out of wood not that thick wood either like I shudder to think you couldn't just kick this door down it honestly seems more like a polite please don't come in here than an actual obstacle so like, you can come in here but Please don't. Let's see that door. I thought I'd believe you'd have a hard time kicking down. That door actually looks somewhat reinforced. Door downstairs. Mm, yeah, no. I'm having a harder time believing that that couldn't just be smashed. When you hear a sucker going for a door, boy, gee, you don't. Say, Davy. I don't know who the fuck Davy is. I don't even know a friend named Davy. Dave. What's next? Me and a sucker standing there doing nothing. I hate these ghosts the most of all. short streams lately once arc is a bit more settled I intend to go for a lot longer or maybe later tonight I don't know but I'll see you next time